everybody, today I'm testing out four different hair masks. Now to prepare for all of them, I gotta do a quick shampoo and a towel dry. So let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to go section by section, separating the front and then two sections in the back, putting a different hair mask on each and in the end, I will let y'all know how each feels and smells and how it goes on and we'll know which one is the best. Not sponsored by the way, so if I talk trash on these, it's genuine. <laughs> First up, we're using Tea Tree Soothing Hydration Hair Mask from the brand Soapbox. It says it restores your dry scalp and hair to refreshed and hydrated with the invigorating properties of tea tree. It says your purchase actually gives a bar of soap to someone in need and it is free of sulfate, silicones, paraben, and it is color safe which is awesome. So I was researching how tea tree oil helps in your hair because I know tea tree oil on your scalp helps with dandruff and itchy scalp. But using it on your hair strand is also helpful because I guess it also helps unclog your hair shafts. Didn't know that. Did not know that at all. Smells pretty good. We're also putting it on our scalp because we want that good, good scalp anti dandruff, anti-itchy properties. Let's do it. Section number one is done. Tea tree oil, I have my faith in you. I have my faith. Okay, I'm just going to try to cover this one. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, if y'all don't know this about ingredients, it starts with the ingredient that is filling up most of this bottle. So, unfortunately, tea tree oil is not the first thing there. But if you go down, not too far, that is where you will read tea tree oil. It's not the main ingredient, but it is pretty high up there, not bad. The next front portion of my hair, I'm going to be using Raw Sugar's Healing Power Hair Mask with olive oil, banana, coconut milk, and agave. It is free of sulfates, parabens, and silicones, color safe and vegan, of course. All right, let's get into it. Oh. The other one was like pouring out. This one's pretty solid. Okay, a little thick, isn't it? <laughs> Must be all the banana, you know what I mean? All right, this one I'm pretty excited about. I love um, when they focus on fruits and veggies, you know, on the front of a hair mask. Oh, this up. Oh, this one is so thick compared to the other one. It's a little freaky, you know? I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I like this. It's, it's like gummy. I'm scared, look at making my hair stand straight up. <laughs> we are all coated. <laughs> Bag time. Beautiful. Alrighty, next up we have Eva NYC's Deep Condition Three Time Hydration Softening Therapy Session Hair Mask powered by argan oil and plant protein. On the ingredients list, argan oil is listed at number eight from the top. So it's up there, but I feel like there could have been more argan oil. But you know, we'll see how it feels. <laughs> oh, this one's also kind of thick. Look at this. Oh, this feels so weird. It's kind of like, I don't even know how to describe this. It feels like if you were to dip your hand in like pudding. It, it feels like how it looks. I'm not gonna lie, like tapioca pudding. Avoid contact with the eyes. That's scary. Oh, this is so weird putting it on my hair. Ah, uh, it feels, <laughs> it feels so weird. I don't know why. So argan oil, if y'all don't know, argan oil is amazing for making your hair shine. So it's great with shininess. Argan oil is also used in a lot of heat protectants. So if you are someone who uses a lot of heat on your hair or even like you're outside a lot, this might be great for you. It might be great, you know? This is just the weirdest feeling. I mean, it feels nice though. <laughs> it does feel nice, but it does feel really weird going on. I don't even know how to describe this. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that up. Do a little twisty twist. I gotta cover it to keep the moisture in. It's perfect. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. One more left. Alrighty, and for the last 
back section of my hair, we have Batiste Instant Hair Treatment Leave-In Hair Mask Repair with 100% plant-based pea protein. This is why y'all really need to read the ingredients on the back, okay? This is my beef with Batiste. Cle clearly the main focus of this hair mask is the pea proteins. I looked it up. Pea sprouts can help shorten the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle helping to strengthen hair follicle stem cells. So that's awesome. That's not the beef part. That is not the beef part. The beef part is, let's look at the ingredients. Da 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 Where does it say P? Does it say P here? Does it say P here? Does it say P up here? No peas. No peas. No peas. Oh, what? The last ingredient on the list. That is where the pea extract is. That means there is the smallest amount in this bottle, the smallest amount of ingredient is peas. In this tiny bottle, I wish I looked at this before I bought it, but let's see how it works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it actually says use a small amount. It does say use a small amount. Some of us have full heads of hair. We might need more than a small amount, okay? Oh, it's a little gritty though. Ah! What are these little beads? What is this? The most unnecessary thing I've ever put in my hair, not gonna lie. Other than bleach, obviously that was unnecessary. But the rest of it is going on pretty smoothly. And let's twist it on up and cover it. So here we have it. We have all four masks in my hair. Some of them do say to leave it in minimum three minutes. Usually a hair mask, like a quality hair mask, you can leave in for like 30 minutes. Sometimes people leave in masks overnight. The only thing is we don't want these masks to dry up. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers on it in the moment they start feeling dry, which might be in the next 20 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna hop in, do a cold rinse, and we'll see how it feels. We'll see how it rinses out. 20 minutes on the clock. Alrighty, we are all rinsed out. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Thank you. I can tell you, first off, the tea tree one, the tea tree mask. I'm telling you, y'all, and I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just me. I go a little too long before shampooing my hair, especially when I straighten it, because I want to I want that to last, right? So my scalp does get a little itchy from me going so long without shampooing my hair. So the tea tree mask, my scalp has never felt so good before. I'm not lying, it's so nice. And my hair strands do feel good. They do feel pretty good. This one, y'all, it still feels like it's in my hair. This was so thick. Is it still in there? Do you see some? It feels like it's still in there. I'm nervous. <laughs> However, I will say my hair feels like silky. It does feel very, very smooth. So that could either be a really good thing or it could be a bad thing. Believe it or not, y'all. So far, definitely my least favorite though because it's so thick and it kind of freaks me out. <laughs> the Argan Oil Hair Mask. Let me tell you, my scalp feels good and my hair feels good. It doesn't feel slimy like this one does. It does feel well moisturized. Look, it even detangled pretty well. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. So far, I really like it. This one definitely feels moisturized here. My scalp doesn't feel overburdened or anything like that. So, so far, Eva NYC is up there. It's up there. The last one, <laughs> my beef with Batiste. It actually feels pretty good. It feels pretty good and it smells really good. So is my beef still valid? I don't know why I like want to hate them because of how little pea protein is in this, but let me see. It says paraben free. Da, 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 da. Fragrance is high up there. This is why it still smells so good. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh, there are sulfates. Okay, no silicones, but I do see a sulfate in here. So this might just be feeling really smooth because there's sulfates and that coats the hair 
makes it look smoother, might make it look shinier. However, it does weigh down the hair and it stops moisture from being able to come in completely. It does smell really good though. I am having a little bit of a hard time with this. We got our wins and we got our losses here so far. But I think the only way to know in the end how these really feel is when my hair dries. We're gonna sleep on it. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Everyone take your guesses right now. I'm gonna go to bed and it's gonna be two seconds for you, but it's gonna be a long time for me. Let's see which one is the best when my hair is dry in the morning. Alrighty y'all, it is the next day. And after having my hair for the most part air dry, <laughs> I can let you know exactly what's going on in each section. First off, we have the front corner, the tea tree. I will say, I have never had a shampoo, hair oil, or conditioner, or hair mask ever make my scalp feel this nice. So if y'all struggle with itchy scalp, dandruff, dry scalp, this is for you. This one is for you. So this one is a winner for me personally, but let me tell you why the other ones are also great. The raw sugar portion. I will say this one, even though it still feels really nice, it clearly was moisturized. The ends, honestly, the other three feel better at the very ends. However, I will say if we're focusing on the roots and the mid shaft, maybe the ends just dried up more, which is totally possible so they didn't get to absorb as much. So it could have been me, but the rest does feel pretty smooth. And I think a trick maybe to this one being so thick might be to even put an oil on first so that the thick cream kind of holds it there in place. So you kind of get double the seepage. So there is a way to work with this, but the super thick is not my cup of tea, but it might be yours. Alrighty, back here, Eva NYC is feeling pretty good. This one definitely feels very sleek, very silky. Uh, the flyaways were still flying away, but that's because there's no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, you know, but it feels really nice. It's very bouncy and the ends feel really, really nice. Like the ends I, pff, feel phenomenal. So this one also can't go wrong with it. My beef with Batiste. At the end of the day, if y'all don't mind sulfates, if you don't care, if you regularly use a cleansing shampoo that does take all the sulfate, silicones, everything out of your hair, this one, perfectly fine with because it did tame the flyaways really well, just like sulfates do, okay? So it is very smooth. This back corner, it still smells like I'm fresh out of the shower. So if y'all don't mind, having not the cleanest ingredients, but you want your hair to smell good, you want your flyways to be done flying, this one's for you. Well, I know I talked a lot, I know that was a lot of education, but I hope this helped you kind of narrow down what would work for you. I will say for my curly hair girlies out there, none of these are especially for curly hair, so definitely, definitely keep an eye on that, but Tea tree oil, at the end of the day, I would recommend the tea tree oil for everyone. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. That one is a top favorite for me. Anyways, I hope you learned a bit, just like I did, and I will see you next time. Bye!